Hi, my name is Ahmed Shahin, and I'd like to tell you about the recent changes to approved document L1. Previously, the document was separated into two different parts, L1A and L1B. Now this has been combined together, and it has come into effect in the June 2022. The approved document L1 talks about the conservation of fuel and power in new and old dwellings, and it sets out the thermal criteria required with injunctions. So on this slide, I'm showing you the exact clauses that talk about thermal bridging. The first clause, 4.16, um, addresses thermal bridges and tells you that you need to minimize the impact and effect of those thermal bridges with injunctions. How to do so? Well, if we look at the text here, shown in clause 4.17, that tells you that you need to come up with robust drawings in terms of junctions. It needs to be buildable and needs to resolve the thermal issues within the junction. Uh, second of all, when they construct that junction on site, an on site audit needs to be carried out in terms of taking photographs of the junction before closing it up. Um, furthermore, if the contractor replaces any products um, that were specified or drawn up in the junction, they need to reflect that change in the SAP calculation, but also in the BREL report submitted at the end. There's also some specific criteria set out in Appendix B of the document to tell you how to carry out the on-site audit, and I'm not going to go into detail of that today. But thermally, you need to assess the junction in terms of the performance. There's a few different methods listed in the approved document L1, and that talks about, first of all, as an option A, you need to calculate the thermal performance in accordance to Report 497 and Information Paper 1 over 6. We recommend you to do that because that will give you a very accurate idea of what's happening in the junction thermally. There's also some alternatives, so you can use robust, uh, robust details, as in the LABC uh, database. You can also uh, use the typical assessment procedure, um, or you can use default values. The default value has been increased by 25% since this revision. Uh, we do not recommend to use default values, as it won't give you a clear idea of what's happening within your structure but a combination of different approaches could be uh, used in, in, the sim in one project. So within information paper 1 over 6, that sets out something called FCRSI, or the temperature factor. It's set out as a minimum 0.75 for residentials. What is FCRSI? Well, basically, it's indicator risk indicator of mold and condensation. Um, it compares the internal surface temperature to the outside air temperature. And like I said, it's set as 0.75 as a minimum for residential structures. Okay.